Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Well, it isn't really. It's Pokemon Shield for the Nintendo Switch. And as George Michael here is explaining to us, we aren't in the wonderful world of Xanarkand. We're in the wonderful world of Pokemon. In the beloved Gala region, which is a wonderful place with thriving nature beautiful cities, and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. A fish fly, a mountain peak. As you know, our society is able to thrive. I, I don't know why all of a sudden he has like the Maximilian Pegasus or Pegasus voice almost. But thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, on a mountain peak, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. This guy, I swear, this game is just crazy. Like, I feel like I'm not even going to get started yet. I have a Mocha, for old time's sake. His name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here, I must say. So turn your gaze to the Gala region's gracious Pokemon Trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match! This really is like, it, it, it's like he's going to teach us how to blitz in a second. Even though Leon isn't really like that, he's not that kind of like, I'm the greatest kind of guy you may think otherwise when you see this. But like, this guy, Raihan, he's the guy who thinks he's got it all. They've got this kind of, like, sexy rivalry going on. <laughs> oh my god! Charizard is going to do the Jekt shot. So with that amazingly shocking opening, welcome to Pokémon Shield, everybody. <laughs> and then from that, like, craziness to this, like, serene little... Little, uh, little thing that looks like a shot out of Professor Layton and the Curie's Village or something. So yeah, welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Shield, everybody. As I said, I have a mocha for all time's sake. Not in the game, as you see, but in real life. And it is really good. I can't remember the last time I had a mocha. Technically, I'm not supposed to be eating, drink, drinking a mocha because... I found out in late 2018 that I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm probably going to pick up the tab for that in one way or another, but... Hop says, Oh, is that your new Flash phone, Harry? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. The Charizard pose. As if Charizard actually does a pose. Mom comes in and she's like, how did you get into my house without someone letting you in, actually, is what she's probably asking. <laughs> but I guess they know each other so well that they just, like, waltz in and out of each other's residences. Came over to see me and get me. I think, like, the way, uh, the way this game starts is really clever. The way they show you that, um, that big, like, champion battle. Um... It's really cool because it almost like harkens back to yeah see you okay it almost harkens back to um um get this show on the road I guess well this isn't this isn't Pokemon Sun and Moon where you kind of just like saunter around the place in this game you just go like balls to the wall everywhere you go just like, run all over the place mom is gonna be like no running in the house and I'm gonna be like fuck you shut up Holly um. <laughs> But, um, let's see what she has to say for herself. Rushing off in that state, Harry, didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? <laughs> I last saw it in your room, and don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Alright, if you say so. Dad's old bag. Dad's old bag is in the kitchen! Oh! <laughs> that was so bad. Um, but yeah, like I was saying before I, like, distracted myself... Um, 
It, it, and I'm just gonna distract myself now by this soft, super soft Pikachu and Eevee up here. Eevee is like the new Pikachu. This isn't, uh, again, this isn't Pokemon Sun, so we don't like, we're not a connoisseur of all the different beds across the country. Hop is waiting. Yeah, we better hop along, I guess. Um, so yeah, the uh, I love how the beginning shows you that champion battle because it really harkens back to, like, the old Pokemon games where you saw like Nidorino and Gengar fighting each other or whatever. It's just or or like back in like the the first uh, season of the anime where it kicks off with like Ash watching. Um, Watching like a televised Pokemon battle, it's just really cool. But you, you, you. Alright. Huh. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha, you found me! That old bag looks like it could pull you over. He probably wants to pull over. I I'm not gonna make that joke again. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a snore. <laughs> I love how he like has such like high expectations that Lee is bringing him all wondrous gifts from across the globe or something. Wooloo here. <laughs> Making a nuisance of itself. Hey you silly Wooloo, you're going to give yourself brain damage. Now you listen, no going past that fence. Scary Pokemon livering, li livering living in the slumbering wheels. So many weird names of places in this game. Like, if you hadn't noticed, they go for this kind of, like, like, this kind of, like, um, old English vibe, you know? Go we'll race you, race you. Looking that big old bag. They keep, like, ragging on my old bag. <laughs> We're gonna leave Wooloo here. Are you okay? Do you actually have brain damage? Probably. Um, they go for this, like, old English aesthetic, so, like, with, like, the little chocolate box, um cottage, thatched cottage that we live in. Again, like something of Professor Layton or something. Or the aesthetic when I saw it as well, it really made me think of, did anyone see the the um, the anime of um, the power of German engineering is amazing. Battle and trade Pokemon with other people. Um, it reminded me of, did anyone ever see the, the anime The Ancient Magus's Bride? Like this house, when I saw Hop's house up here. That's like the first thing I thought of, like, and anyone who is a fan of anime and hasn't watched that, you are, like, sorely missing out. That is one of, like, the sweetest, kind of most, like, I don't know, there's something really heartening about that whole thing. It's so good. Mom, is he here? And, they, and the way they say, like, mom as well, instead of, like, mom or something like that. There you are, it's last hop. Oh, and you brought along Harry. Hello, dear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got crammed in the cup. <laughs> Hop is so weird. I kind of like him, though. He's a little bit, like, zany, you know? Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. When he just arrived at the station, Wedgehurst. <laughs> it was, like, disgusting sounding name, Wedgehurst. That's where I'm going. You know, Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost along the way. <laughs> I don't know what the story is, but I don't even know why I'm doing voices, like random voices for these people. How have we never met him? When did we move in here? Can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. His voice is after changing like five times in five minutes, but like, stupid is as stupid does. Oh, here and there's a cat standing up, like the creepiest thing, like the like that. Those horrible video, like, th those videos of the dog standing up dressed up like a kid or something, that's what it's like. It's like he's standing up like a little Rory Calhoun. Here's all Leon's trophies, they belong to the champion. And this old fart is Hop's grandfather, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Hop is, like, obsessed with Leon, it's crazy. I suppose it's, like, this kind of, like... Um, endearing, like, adoration. This woman is, like, staring at this plant. Little does she know it's not even real. It's like, I remember reading this article recently. This Hop's room. He has, like, all these cool, like, um... I actually quite like Hop's room. It's nice and vibrant. And it's kind of, like, kind of not untidy. It's kind of just lived-in looking, but still tidy, if you know what I mean. I kind of like that. 
are going to be all voyeuristic and wander around the champion's room, maybe rifle through his drawers and steal some of his stuff or something, sell it. Like that weird case, there was like this weird court case one time where like allegedly someone who was like in U2's um, like tour team or something was like in court for stealing their stuff so that she could sell it. It was the most bizarre story of all time. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Harry, what Pokemon come out nowhere? Walk around, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Still clear of the tall grass, we go. That's definitely not going to be Hop's voice because he's like a young kid and he's cool. And I know some people don't like Hop, but I do. He's kind of like a, a kind of a zany sort of a character. No wandering in that tall grass if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. Mate. It's like they completely, like, overdo the whole Englishy, accenty thing. Um, what was I saying about, oh yeah, about that court case where she was in court for allegedly stealing their, like, personal things, like, just, like, random things so that she could sell it for money or something. But yeah, about the other thing that I remembered, I read this article about this woman who looked after a succulent for, like, two years before she realized it was actually an artificial plant. Like, she had been lovingly looking after this plant for years. There's Leon. He knows he's the champion, but he's not arrogant about it, you know? That's what I like about him. He's pretty cool. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. <laughs> well, thank you for that, whatever you said. I hope you all carry on doing your speech therapy. And then come and challenge me for the champion title. Here was I, like, before I started recording this, going like, am I going to be able to remember what to say? Am I going to be able to think of stuff to say? And, yeah, just, like, all this verbal diarrhea just comes, like, plummeting out of my mouth. This guy on the right, if you leave this screen, just pause, he just stays, like, in that position forever, probably getting a shoulder cramp. And look, that guy on the left is just patting his stomach. What's he trying to do? But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true. I am much stronger than all of you. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym. To fill the gym challenge? Fill the gym challenge? Weird word choice. My wish is for Gala's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. <laughs> Lee! Lee! Oh my god, if this isn't Hop, my brother, who would have known? So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop! I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. They're crazy. And they're like really similar in a way. I think that they definitely have like the brothers thing really down in this game because they're that similar sort of... Not too serious, you know? I, I kind of like them. They're cool. And those sexy eyes over here, I've got it, you must be Harry, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother, I'm the Gala region's greatest ever Pokemon champion, and a massive Charizard fan too. I Also, the, like, for me, like, when I see that word, I can't call it Galar, it like, it just looks like it says Galar to me, I, like, Radar. Like, I can't call it Galar, or Galar. Or glib glab 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 or whatever. Um, like, it's just when I see that word, it just looks like radar to me, so I just call it Galar. That I can beat both of you back home. And Hop runs away, and we just stand here and are like, yeah, let that loser go back home. With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time for the right price. Gigolo Joe, where do you go? There he goes. Again, I shouldn't be, like, attributing that kind of personality to Leon. It's Raihan is the guy who'd be, who, who'd be that kind of character in this game. He fucking... It's like he's sexy and he knows it. Oh, here's the present. Oh, I didn't even... I hadn't even really decided what Pokemon I want. The greatest gift from the greatest champion. The greatest love of all. 
I'm not gonna sing. Not today. I'm in that kind of acidic humor, not sweet humor today. Take a good look at my face. We have the grass type Pokemon, Grookey, the fire type Pokemon, Scorbunny, and the water type Pokemon, Sabo. I like, I've been thinking about this a, a little bit, not as much as I probably should have, but like, I, uh, I was thinking I should pick something different because I didn't pick the other with them before, but to, also this scene is amazing. I love that they did this. It's because it kind of gives them that little bit of personality, you know? And I find that sometimes that's missing from Pokemon games, and, and I love how they do that now in, in Sun and Moon and in Sword and Shield, where you get to see some of their personality a little bit. Line up, everyone. This is like, uh, like, visiting day at the orphanage or something. They're all like, maybe someone will give me a home. Like, my life as a courgette or something. Well, who's gonna be my little courgette? Guan, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo. <laughs> Wooloo. <laughs> it's like Wooloo. Wooloo. What did he even say? My dream is to help make the trainers of the Gala region as strong as they can be. So, I... In my normal game, I chose Score Bunny because I just love Score Bunny and Raboot and, and Cinderace. Um, but I also like Grookey and I like Sobble as well, so I really don't know. It's very difficult, but I think I just have to go with Scorbunny. I like Scorbunny too much to, to not pick pick this like cute little guy. I mean, look at him. Yes. And actually, funnily enough, this is like the first game like in the series where I've had a real attachment to the fire type starter. Yeah, sure. Score Bunny's name. I have to call him Courgette. Like, I have to, since I, like, saved him from the cruel orphanage owner, Leon. If anyone hasn't seen My Life as a Courgette, it is an amazing animation, animated film. You have to go see it. It's extremely sweet. Fist bump, Courgette. Um, but the, um... Score Bunny is, like, the first fire-type Pokémon... Well, I lie, I, I was like a Cyndaquil person back in Generation 2, but actually more of like a Chikorita, Meganium weirdo. But, um, Scorbunny is like the first fire type starter that I've like really loved, you know, that I've really been like, oh my god, I love it. Aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Grookey is so cute. And then he basically evolves into Maui from Moana, is what he looks like. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Harry, so the two of you can battle, train, and grow stronger together to try and reach me. And then this little wimp gets left behind and has to eat gruel. We're going back to the orphanage, Sobble, where you're going to scrub the floors three times as hard. <laughs> He's so happy. Alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up! <laughs> Charizard is like, when can I eat it? Look at him. I Like, I love all these little scenes. Like, this game is just so sweet. Uh, like, Generation 8, like, for me, like, with, with Pokemon, like, Generation 1, 2, 3, 4, I loved. Five and six, I'm like, whatever, forgettable. But like seven and eight, I feel like they've really come back with like a bang, really and truly. Ooh, you spent a whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You devil, you. You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love. <laughs> of course I have, Lee. Harry's made fast friends with his score bunny, too. <laughs> Throwing me under the boss. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokémon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. If you think Harry might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. They're, they're like, 
Don't, I'm like, don't involve me in this, I just want to live my life. <laughs> but I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Yeah, that's true. Proper trainers raise their Pokémon up to be first-rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say, willing and ready to take Hop on for the first ever Pokémon battle of your life? Well, <laughs> I must, I, I'll have to admit I'm a bit of a ringer. More importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. He's going to trademark the word champion so no one else is able to use it or something. Like that woman, there was like this episode of Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares where this woman who lived in Baltimore, she like trademarked the word hun, which is like really bizarre and the entire city hated her for it because they were like, you didn't make up the word so you can't trademark it, bitch. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Oh, do you now? Well, Score Bunny is going to have something else to say about that. Hulu, Hulu. It's like every every time I see the word Hulu, it's like it reminds me of like that episode of Pokemon where Patrick was like being a monitor, like was being a police or something, and then he was like walking around going wee woo. Wee Courgette, use tackle. Go for it. Like, how can you not like Score Bunny the best? Sorry, but like, it, it's amazing. Like, it's just so cute. It's a brilliant design. It's just got, like, the color palette, everything. It's just so, like, zingy. And I love then, like, the, the evolutions, like, look just as good. And I think that's, like, the deal breaker for me. Like, Sobble and Grookey, I don't really care about the evolutions as much. Hop is gonna be like, oh no, you mind crushed me or something. Courgette grew to level 6, yay! And Ember. Every member of the Spellman family is born with a twin. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Here comes Grookey. And then we just burn it to death, we kill it with fire. Yeah, I think that's kind of like the deal breaker for me with like the with like the other starters. Yeah, I do hop. <laughs> I love the way Hop is like, I know so much and you know fuck all. And then now I'm just like Brrr. Ember goes Brrr. Um the uh the um What was I even saying? I was saying something. Did I even finish telling that other story that I can't even remember what story it was? I was telling that story about- oh yeah, about the plant. I finished telling that story, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, the deal breaker for me with like Sobble and Grookey is that I don't really like their evolutions aesthetically. You beat my two Pokemon with your one, you and that school bunny are too much. <sighs> that is true, we are just too- too hot to handle. Good old Courgette. What a name. I feel like like he might grow out of that name, to be honest, but... Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee is taught he should give you a Pokemon, too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard, and I have a different voice all of a sudden again. <laughs> crazy. Good effort out there, Score Bunny. Oh, he's gonna sort us out. You've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make both of you stronger. I kind of like the like that the champion is kind of like a uh, has a um, has a presence from the very get go in this game. They're not just this kind of like random random person far away that you're that you're kind of like hoping to beat. They actually have like a presence, and you get to interact with them throughout the game. A little bit like Lance in Generation Two to a certain extent, but but better. And I think it's because like. What you'll see is like they um like the blitzball jokes at the start wasn't like wasn't even just like a joke really like like they do kind of make 
just like I said, they go for this whole kind of like England aesthetic. Like they make out like Pokemon battling is almost like um like like football or soccer or whatever. And he's like this star player, like the like the 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 MVP kind of. And of course, he has like, like this huge celebrity status, you know, just like the gym leaders as well. Trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data. You know, it's a record of trainers' love and passion for Pokemon training. Yeah, we'll get the Pokedexes, but I think um, the research lab will probably have to wait until the next video, because I think I've been recording for like about 25 minutes already, so... Um, I'm, apparently Hop is going to be the next champion, so pff, fuck completing the Pokedex. If only he knew that like becoming the champion is so much easier than completing the Pokedex, as I proved bitterly with the Pokemon Blue LP, but... Yeah, I'll tell my mother in the next video, so thank you very much for watching this part of um, Let's Play Pokemon Shield for the Nintendo Switch. I'm so excited to be playing this game with you guys, and, and like, so excited to see what kind of Pokemon are going to catch my eye, because... As per usual, I have no idea what I'm going to be using, so thanks a million for watching, I will see you next time, bye now.